Good evening. The independent review of the Stanley Cup riot was released this afternoon. The report shows there were tens of thousands of people jammed into Vancouver's downtown core and not even a thousand officers at the height of the riot. Czech News reporter Kylie Stanton joins us now from the newsroom with more on this. Kylie. Thanks, Scott. The goal of this report is to find out what went wrong and what exactly can be learned from uh, what's come to be known as the Stanley Cup riot. In the end, 53 recommendations are being put forward, targeting a wide range of groups in very different ways. But no one is making any promises. History won't repeat itself. They're the images that have left a mark on Vancouver. Rioters smashing windows, looting stores, setting vehicles on fire. Now, two and a half months later, an independent report is placing blame. The riot was caused by thugs and villains and people who cheered them on. June 15, 2011, 150,000 people gathered in the city's downtown for Game 7 of the Stanley Cup Final. Moments after the Canucks' defeat, chaos broke out, lasting for hours despite authority. There were not too few police, there were too many people. Not too many people for the police, but too many people for the venue. 446 officers were assigned to police the game. That's more than double what was deployed ahead of the 1994 Stanley Cup Final. By the end of the night, 928 officers were on the street, as some self-deployed and outlying detachments responded. Evidence the issue goes beyond the city limits. What really happened was there was a regional riot. It just happened to be concentrated in the downtown centre of uh, Vancouver. We have a, a spectacularly efficient train system and they were arriving in downtown Vancouver at the rate of about 500 people every 80 to 90 seconds. The transit system is said to be just one of the contributing factors in the riot, the other intoxication. There was free-flowing alcohol pretty well all day and uh, it had an enormous impact on the atmosphere and the attitude and the behaviour of people from fairly early on and right to the end of the day. The opportunity to set the tone was lost. Having said that, uh, we do not believe that they could have maintained the tone in that crowd in any event. It's no consolation for the few who stepped up, attempting to regain some control, but ending up injured. He had to dive on top of me because they were just kicking my ribs. Christopher Lavelle was mobbed while trying to protect someone else, suffering a crushed lung. Now he's looking for justice. You know, a handful of bad people put such a disgraceful name on Vancouver when there were so many of the other people trying to help out that day. It would likely do something to help the city's tarnished image, where those at the helm have been under attack for their role in the events. Questions around preparation, foresight and management have been circulating since the first pane of glass shattered. But according to the experts... It is in our findings that there was no political interference in any of the planning or execution or budgeting or anything around the numbers of police officers in respect to organizing for this night. Instead, 53 recommendations are being put forward, aimed at a wide range of groups in different ways. If things can happen in a whole bunch of ways and in a whole bunch of areas, you have a good chance to, to, to really reduce the possibility of having to face something like this again. With the Vancouver Canucks considered to be one of the favourites to take home the title next season, this theory could soon be put to the test. Now, there are still many questions around how those involved in the riot will be held responsible for their actions. More than 1,000 people are being investigated, and police recently launched a website to add to those numbers, but so far no charges have been laid. Today, Furlong and Keefe spoke of restorative justice as a way of dealing with those who simply got caught up in the riot, but insisted the initiators will be punished to the full extent of the law, that hang 'em high approach the police, city and province have been pushing for. Scott?